Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad that we could be here this morning for our uh, gentle, slow flow. Ah, oh, it is a rainy day here in Michigan, a very cozy day, um, and just the perfect day to practice some loving kindness. Um, so today's practice, we're going to start with a loving kindness meditation, and then we're going to move on to a really nice gentle flow. If you have a yoga block and or some yoga, um, sorry, yoga block. If you don't have yoga blocks, you can always use some books. Um, they're always nice, thick books. If you have anything like that, that's always handy. Um, and if you can grab a yoga strap, uh, I've got a yoga strap here, but if you have a, a TheraBand, an elastic band, that's also totally fine. So whatever, whatever you have. And um, today's practice, we're going to be really trying to embody this loving kindness, um, this Maitri, Maitri, which is Sanskrit uh, for benevol benevolence, uh, loving kindness, friendliness, amity, goodwill, and active interest in others. So today we are going to really try to embody this Maitri uh, into our practice, being loving kindness to ourselves, and also sending out some loving kindness to others out there who might need it. And even if they don't need it, they can get it too. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and start um, with our meditation. So make yourself really nice and comfortable. I know sometimes it's nicer to lie down, so I encourage you to do that. If that feels a little bit more relaxing for you and a little less straining on your back, especially if you've had a, a night and where your sleeping was a little off, maybe your neck is feeling a little funky. So feel free to lie down on your back. If you are taking care of your low back today, maybe you even want to prop yourself up with um, a bolster underneath the knees so that you can raise your knees a little bit higher than your hips. And that'll really let your hip flexors and your low back um, release. So when you get yourself nice and comfortable, go ahead and if it feels comfortable for you, close your eyes. And let's just begin by tuning in with ourselves, checking in, having a moment to see how we're feeling today. So often we are worried and thinking about others and we really wanna also make sure that we can take care of ourselves, that we're looking after our well-being, thinking about not only our physical state, but our mental state. So this is a really nice opportunity just to check in. How are you feeling today? Maybe something specific pops up in your head. Maybe there's nothing in particular. And either is good. Either is wonderful. And feel free to, if something pops up, just simply notice it, acknowledge. And we don't need to place any sort of judgment on anything that does pop up. I'll just take a moment to settle into our bodies, settle onto our mats. Maybe you can start to invite a little bit of that release from the physical body down into the mat. If you're seated, maybe you're noticing a little bit of lengthening through the spine, but we're not forcing the spine tall or just growing a little taller. With spring being here, it's so beautiful to see all the flowers growing from the earth. And it always reminds me of when I encourage us yogis to sit up tall, grow tall from the earth. And if you're lying down, allow your roots to sow down into the earth. Allow yourself to Settle in here. And if it's comfortable, as we go through our meditation, our loving kindness meditation today, perhaps try and keep your eyes closed for the whole duration. It really helps us concentrate and draw our whole visualization. It really allows us to bring awareness to our visualization. We can maybe see it from behind the closed eyes. Helps us also to invite a sense of concentration of being diverted with our eyes, our outer sense outward into the room. 
So take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. And let us begin. We're going to begin with receiving loving kindness. So keeping your eyes closed, let us think of a person to whom who loves you very, very much. It could be someone from your past or your present, maybe someone still in your life, or someone who has passed away. It could be a spiritual leader, a teacher, or a guide. And imagine that this person is standing right in front of you, sending you their love. That person is sending you wishes for your safety, for your well being, and happiness. Feel the warm wishes and love coming from that person towards you. Now imagine that you are surrounded on all sides by all the people who love you and have loved you. Picture all of your friends and loved ones surrounding you. They are standing, sending you wishes for your happiness well-being and health. Bask in the warm wishes and love coming from all sides. You are filled and overflowing with warmth and love. Now let us begin to send a loving kindness to loved ones. Picture a person that you love, perhaps a relative or a friend. Begin to send the love that you feel back to that person. You and this person are similar. Just like you, this person wishes to be happy and have a good life. Send all of your love and warm wishes to this person. Let us repeat the following phrase silently. Just as I wish, may you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be so safe and healthy. Let us repeat two more times. Just as I wish, may you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be safe and healthy. Just as I wish, may you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be safe and healthy. Now sending loving kindness to neutral people. Think of an acquaintance, someone you don't know very well and toward whom you have, you do not have a particular feeling. 
could be a neighbor or a colleague or someone else that you see around but you do not know very well. You and this person are alike in your wishes to have a good life. Like you, this person wishes to experience joy and happiness in his or her life. Let us take a moment to think of that person. Send all your wishes of well-being to that person, repeating the following phrase. Just as I wished you, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe and healthy. Just as I wish, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe and healthy. Just as I wish, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe and healthy. Sending loving kindness to enemies. Now think of someone you may not get along with very well. It may be someone that you have long-standing difficulties with. Call that difficult person to your mind. And be honest about what you feel. There may be feelings of discomfort as you think of those feelings. And notice any tendency you may have to think badly about that person or to deepen the conflict you have with them. For example, by getting into imagined arguments with them. Now see if you can let those tendencies go. Instead, let us wish them well, repeating the following phrase silently. Just as I wish, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be healthy. Just as I wish, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe, and healthy. Just as I wish, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe and healthy. Sending loving kindness to all living beings. Now expand your awareness and picture the whole globe in front of you as a little ball. Send warm wishes to all living beings in the globe who, like you, want to be happy. Let us repeat together. Just as I wish, may you live with ease. May you be happy. May you be safe and healthy. Just as I wish, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe and healthy. Just as I wish, may you live with ease, may you be happy, may you be safe and healthy. Take a deep breath in. And take a deep breath out. Another deep breath in. And another deep breath out. Notice the state of your mind. 
and how you're feeling after this meditation. When you're ready, you can go ahead and begin to open your eyes. Let us bring ourselves into our all fours position and we're going to start with some child's pose and then go into cat cow. So let us find ourselves in all fours. If you have any sort of knee sensitivity, feel free to put something underneath your knees today. And feel free to repeat our affirmation or our well wishes as we move through our practice today. Bringing your big toes together, your knees wide, go ahead and press down onto your hips and begin to ease yourself gently down towards the floor. Maybe extending the arms out long, perhaps bending the elbows. And as you shift your weight side to side, maybe begin to notice if you can create a little bit of space for yourself here. Maybe you can find a little bit of ease through the hips. Maybe you can settle your forehead down to the floor, focusing on connecting down into that third eye. The forehead doesn't quite reach the floor. Feel free to stack your hands and lift the earth a little bit closer to your body. And as you find yourself here in child's pose, take a moment to simply notice your body Notice what is going on today, just in this very moment, in this present moment. Notice if there's any areas of the body that you're holding on to a little bit of tension. Notice if there's any opportunity to breathe in and release a little bit deeper. Maybe noticing if the shoulders are tightening a little bit, see if we can release them a little bit. Perhaps noticing the back body, maybe breathing in through the nose all the way down the spine. And as you release, exhale, let the hips fall, let the low back lengthen. And just finding a really nice, calm state here. And then as you're ready, on our next inhale, we're going to go ahead and shift our weight onto all fours, placing the hands directly underneath the shoulders, drawing the knees underneath the hips. And let us begin with some cat cows. So as we begin, let us begin to arch the low back on the inhale, beginning tailbone, low back, mid back, upper back, trying to soften through the neck, rolling the shoulder blades back. As you exhale, start to tuck the tail under, move through the low back, mid back, upper back. Let the chin tuck in towards the heart, gaze between the knees. Inhale, arch. And simply move with one breath, one movement, inviting as much loving kindness into this movement as is possible. Seeing if you can invite the breath in to really help guide you here. See if there's anything you can do here, whether it's from a level of self-awareness, maybe in a physical sense where being careful not to go too, too far. Seeing if we can invite the sense of fluidity through the spine, but also honoring our ranges. Seeking to find length, 
yet honoring our distance. And let us complete another round of cat cow. Wonderful. And then when you're ready, we'll make our way back into all fours. From here, let's draw the knees in a little bit closer to center. You need to take a little rest with the wrists. Go ahead and give them a little twirl. Wonderful. And then when you're ready, go ahead and kickstand your right leg out. Back is continuing to be long. I'm just going to pull my shirt so you can see a little bit of the body. And as you lengthen through the crown, down to your tailbone, lengthen through the leg, Keep the toe kind of tucked down towards the floor and energize through the heel. As you exhale, begin to lift the leg and really inviting this awareness from the glute crease to the femur crease and really lifting from that space. And then inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Shoulders are nice and supported. Hands are resting down to the floor. We're again moving with one breath, one movement. I'm seeing if as you exhale, there's a little sense of release. Wonderful. And let's do one more. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and set that knee back. And from here, let's just take a gentle gander over the right shoulder, taking a look back. And then inhaling, coming back towards center. I'll just go ahead and take a look over to the other side. Just opening up the side body and then back in through center. Then just with one breath and one movement, let's just do a few rounds like this. See if you can wade in nice and equally in balance between the hands and the knees. You feel all your weight is resting to the hands. See if you can do something that can just lighten the load just a little. Finding maybe a little bit more of that balance state between the knees and the hands. Wonderful. Last one. Terrific. When you're ready, come back in towards center. Extend the left leg long this time. Toes pointed down towards the ground. Energize through the heel as you exhale lift the leg really finding that lift coming from the gluteal to femur crease and then inhale lower exhale lift now we're active through the upper body core is engaged offering us support but we're not trying to facilitate any straining here so think about moving with ease moving in this gentle sense Engaging the muscles, you can feel them working, but they're not straining. They're just doing a bit of work here. Wonderful. Also notice if you want to try to start kicking out into that right hip, see if you can really find that balance between the two hands and the right knee. Good, and let's do two more. And then you can go ahead, when you're ready, set your left knee back down, 
Hands remain resting on the floor. Spine remains long. Let's take a look over the right shoulder. Inhale back towards center. Let's take a look over the left. And then back through center. And let's just repeat a few times. Maybe deepening through the breath. Maybe inviting our Ujjayi breath today. That Ujjayi breath is that centering, our victorious breath. So we breathe in through the nose. We breathe out through the nose. As we breathe into the back of the throat, we can constrict the throat slightly. And this creates this ocean sound. Wonderful. Let's finish up wherever we are. And we're going to set our hips down onto our heels. Maybe you're opening up the knees wide. And let's go ahead and rest our elbows a little closer to center, giving our wrists a little bit of a break, taking a moment to soften through the shoulders, just softening through the body here. Taking a moment to realign, recenter our attention. Coming back, coming back to base. Wonderful. And then let's go ahead and we're going to shift our weight forward, setting our hands long and forward in preparation for downward dog. So taking the hands forward of the shoulders, and you can widen your hands as wide as feels comfortable for you. We can begin to curl the toes under, and from here begin to lift your sits bones up nice and tall as your knees begin to lift off the earth. Now, rather than locking into the knees, begin to see if you can extend down through the heels and just really invite this in opportunity of length through the back of the legs. Opening up through the shoulders, guiding the ears about, about where your arms are. So if your ears are nicely aligned with your arms, just try to keep it there. If you find your ears filing forward of your arms, see if you can go ahead and lift up and find a bit more of a neutral spine there. Let's go ahead and pedal the feet one at a time. I'm just inviting a little bit of movement through the joints. As we know, we need to lubricate those joints to keep them nice and healthy. So feel free to just go ahead and bend one knee, extend the other, and just alternate sides. Maybe there's one side that wants a little more attention than the other. Go ahead and take a moment or two there. Breathing in and out. Just see if as we extend the back of the body, we can invite this sense of length. And there's really a difference between forcing the body down and lengthening the body down. As we move, we move with our breath, letting our breath really guide us here. Finding this comfortable pace. Just notice how your body's feeling. You might be working through the shoulders here but see if you can just find a little more release try to see if you can make it a little more comfortable wonderful let's finish up with one more on either side and then set both heels down towards the earth open up the heart space Take the left foot a little closer to center and then sweep on the inhale your right leg up to your three-legged dog. And then exhale, draw it all the way forward between the hands. And we're going to set that left foot right down, right between the hands, and then set our right knee, our left knee, sorry, down towards the floor, finding our kneeling lunge. Setting that left foot down onto the floor, resting the left hand down onto the floor. Inhale, open up the heart into a twisted kneeling lunge. Exhale, set the right hand down, framing the left, the right foot, sorry. Curling the left toes under, just simply lift the left knee up and then guide the right foot back, find your downward dog. Settle in here. 
Take a moment to release the shoulders. And then go ahead and take your right foot in towards center and then breathe in as we lift the left leg up towards our three-legged dog. Exhale, bend into the knee, sweep the left foot all the way forward, finding our kneeling lunge. Lengthening through the spine, go ahead and set your right foot down towards the floor, even taking the top of the foot down towards the earth. Resting the right hand into the towards the floor and inhale, opening up towards the left into a gentle twist. Exhale, guide the left hand down, curling the right toes under, lifting the right knee, and then bringing that left foot back, finding downward dog. Drawing down in towards the heels. And then as you're ready, take the left foot towards center. Inhale, sweep the right leg up towards the sky, opening up. This time, let's add on a little hip opener, bending the right knee, opening up the hip, but keeping your shoulders nice and steady here. Inhale, come back towards center, extend the right leg. Exhale, sweep the right leg between the hands. Maybe offering a little support here. You can take that hand guide it forward. Now, as you make your way into this low lunge here, notice if your knee is tracking on top of that right ankle, making sure everything's nicely aligned. On your next inhale, sweep the arms back. Exhale, scoop the hands up, finding ourselves in crescent pose. Dropping down into the shoulders, dropping down into that back foot, lengthening through the heel to allow for a nice opening through the hips. Inhale here, exhale, guide the hands down, framing the front foot. We're gonna take the left foot and bring it all the way forward. Perhaps taking a block and meeting in Uttanasana into our forward fold. Feet are about hip distance apart. Let the crown of the head rest down towards the earth. Even feel free to soften in through the knees so that we have a little bit of bend here. Take a breath in. Exhale, release down. On your next inhale, inhale, finding our Ardha Uttanasana, finding our half arch, lengthening through the spine, placing the hands on the um, shins of the legs. Exhale, release down, releasing the crown. Inhale, bend it towards the, in the knees, sweep the arms all the way up and over, reaching up towards the sky. Palms pressed together. Exhale in samstitihi, finding the hands to heart center. Take a breath here. Reminding ourselves of my tree, that loving kindness. As you're ready, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, reach forward, lead with the heart, hinge from the hips, coming down into Uttanasana. Resting the fingertips to the floor, let us take the right foot back. Then let's take the left foot back, finding downward dog. Wonderful. Take a moment here. Feel free to rest in child's pose. And then on your next inhale, let's meet in downward dog. This time we're going to take the right foot in towards center, balancing into that slightly, resting both weight of the hands, you know, weight of the body into the two hands. Inhale, sweep the left leg up into our three-legged dog. Bending into the knee, opening up to the hip, keeping the shoulders nice and square, anchoring into that right foot. Inhale. Square off the hips, extend the left leg, exhale, sweep it all the way forward, landing it between the two hands. Again, you can take your hands and help you support that. That's absolutely fine. And then from here, resting the ankle right underneath the shoulders, we're going to take a nice inhale, exhale, sweep up, finding our crescent pose. Now, I've done this and I haven't offered you the modification. If you want to do this with your knee down on the floor, it's absolutely fine. So again, I really encourage you just to listen to your body. Finding our crescent pose here, energizing through that back heel, 
opening up through the hip, breathing in, standing tall. As you take your next exhale, sweep your arms forward, rest both hands on either side of the left foot, take the right foot, come to forward fold, Uttanasana. Resting your hands on your block, should that feel comfortable? Taking a nice big inhale, and exhale, just settle in a little bit, maybe bending the knees. On your next inhale, we're going to come into Arda, lengthening the spine, leading with the heart forward. Exhale, release down into a forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way up overhead, reaching tall, placing the palms together. Exhale to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with the heart forward, finding your forward fold, coming down towards the earth. As you're ready, take your left foot back. Meet your left with your right, find downward dog, or find child's pose. We're going to take five breaths here. We're going to add on a little bit to that sequence. Take a moment to recenter our attention. Check in. Wonderful. When you're ready, if you're in child's pose, go ahead and make your way into downward facing dog. And then as you're ready, bringing your feet in a little closer to center, that right foot in particular. As you're ready, sweeping, sorry, the left foot in particular, starting with the right. Inhale, as you're ready, sweep that right leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Find here, find your balance. Bend into that right knee, open up slightly towards the left, opening up the hip, gently opening up that space, keep the shoulders square. Inhale, square off the hips, extend the right leg. Exhale, sweep the right leg all the way forward, framing the front leg with your two hands. Now you can drop down to your bottom, your back knee, if that feels better, more supported. You can always keep your leg lifted. As you're ready, inhale, sweep the arms back. Exhale, sweep all the way up, finding your crescent pose. Dropping down, lengthening through that back heel. Maybe extending the leg a little bit if you've got some room there. Inhale here. Exhale, sweep all the way down. This time, frame the front foot. Rest your left hand down to the floor. Open up into a twist. Exhale, come all the way down, resting both hands on either side of that left, that right foot. Take the left foot, bring it forward, find your forward fold, Uttanasana. Take a deep breath here, and then release. On your next inhale, lengthen your spine, lead with your heart forward, rest your hands on your shins, finding your half arch. Exhale, release forward. Inhale, bend it through the knees, sweep the arms all the way up, coming all the way towards standing. Press the palms together, rest the hands at heart center in Samasthiti. Take a moment here. As you're ready, sweep your arms all the way overhead. And this time, hinge from the hips, lead with the heart, arms face forward, come all the way down to your forward fold. Take your right foot back, take your left foot back, meet in downward dog or child's pose. Take five breaths here. Settle in. And then as you're ready, if you're in child's pose, make your way back into downward facing dog.
taking the right foot a little closer towards center, resting weight into both hands. We're gonna sweep that left leg up on our inhale, bending into that left knee and opening up towards the right, squaring off the shoulders. If your left shoulder wants to open up with you, how can you just let your hands rest comfortably into the floor, anchor into the shoulders, and just allow the hip to open. Inhale, square off the hip, extend the left leg, finding your three-legged dog. Exhale, swim that left leg all the way forward. Again, planting it forward between the hands. However you wanna get there, go ahead and offer it a little support. Ankle underneath the, shoulder, the knee. Inhale, sweep the arms back. Exhale, extend the body up tall, reaching through the heel, finding your crescent lunge. Settle in here for a moment. Reach through the heel to find that little bit more opening through the hip and a little more length through the leg. On your next exhale, we're gonna sweep our hands all the way forward, resting both hands on either side of the left foot. Rest the right hand down, exhale, open towards the left in our twist. On your next inhale, sweep the left hand forward, resting both hands on either side of the left foot. This time, take that right foot, rest it forward, coming into forward fold. Maybe resting the hands on a block. Take a breath in, exhale, release out. Inhale, find our Ardha, find our half arch, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release down. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms all the way forward, or all the way to the side, sorry. Press the palms together. Exhale, meet with your hands in Samasthiti at hands at heart center. Let's take a moment or two here just to re reconnect. Just notice your body, how it's feeling. Notice how your breath is. Maybe it's feeling a little bit faster. Can you see if you can regulate the breathing? Deepen the breath, slow it down just a bit. Notice if you can drop the shoulders, the body rest down towards the earth. And then when you're ready, go ahead and release your hands. Open your eyes if they were closed and shake that off. Nice job. Beautiful. That's a lot of work. Wonderful. Now we're going to go into our balancing postures, our standing balancing postures. And we're going to do tree pose because it's like our new favorite. And we're going to invite a little bit of rotation in there as well. So with tree pose, as we all know, we can do this in three different positions. And everybody's tree is different. So remember, we all start from the earth up. So creating a firm foundation is really important when we work with tree. So from our tree, from our position, we're gonna begin with our right side, resting your left foot and really grounding into the left foot, and really begin to notice the four point connection, the balls of the foot, as well as the heel of the feet. If you're not sure how to do that, lift the toes. That's a great way to just get that sense of grounding down and towards the feet. And then you can go ahead and settle each toe down and really ground into the toes, pressing the pads of the toes down towards the earth. Go ahead and kickstand your right foot, maybe towards your ankle, maybe towards the shin, maybe towards the inner thigh. Now, everybody is going to have a different version of tree. Find what works best for you. Maybe your foot is simply just, just the heel is lifted off the floor. Just see if whatever feels good for you, most balanced. You can also use the wall to support yourself. Now, if you are drawing the leg up a little bit, maybe onto the inner thigh or onto the, um, the calf area. Just try to imagine and start to put a little bit of pressure from the inner thigh towards the foot and the foot towards the inner thigh. So there's this kind of towards midline sensation that we're trying to invite. And that's really going to invite a little bit more stability. Find a drishti point, find some focal point ahead of you. Don't look at the camera, don't look at the screen. And then find a placement with your arms. I'm gonna cactus my arms today. It's 
settle in. If you're feeling a little wibbly wobbly, it's okay. Take any judgment out of it. Try to soften into the body, release any expectation. And simply just try to invite this idea of going with it. Whatever it is, if it's wavy, if it's solid, either way, whatever version of tree, whether we're waving in the wind, or whether we're grounded and not moving at all, they're both perfect trees. And then go ahead and release the arms and release the leg. Good, nice job, shake that off, wonderful. Whew. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side before we move into our next balancing posture. So let's begin by finding our placement on our right foot. So again, just kind of resting a little bit of weight into that right foot, anchoring down through that four point connection. So the ball of the foot and the heel. Maybe lift the toes if that's just a nice way to just invite that sensation. Go ahead and maybe shift your weight into your right foot, maybe finding your ankle maybe finding your calf, maybe finding your inner thigh. And coming to this with so much loving kindness for ourselves. Maybe repeat to yourself, may I be at ease, may I be happy, may I be safe and healthy. Go ahead and find your this inner stillness, this inner knowing that you are grounded, you are supported. Now whenever you're ready, go ahead and release your right, your left leg down and shake it off. Nice job. Beautiful. Excellent. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and draw our right knee in towards our chest. You can interlace the fingers. This is kind of like our um, apanasana, I think it is, where our knee is in towards our chest. We're doing this lying down. Now, go ahead and set your knee so that it's about hip height. So you're about at that 90 degree angle here. We're going to go ahead and take our opposite hand. Set it on the outer edges of the right leg. And you can go ahead and use a wall here. I encourage you to if this feels a little wibbly wobbly. And then if you want to go ahead and extend your right leg out, right arm out, and go ahead and just gently twist that right leg past your midline. Draw the knee up, open up through the heart. Offer a little rotation here. This is quite a lot of work. Balance work. And go ahead and release. Nice job. Good. Also have a little bit of that left brain, right brain work. So that's also always good for us. Finding balance there too. Go ahead and shift your weight into that right foot. Go ahead and bring the left knee in towards your heart. And if you need to stay here a little longer, maybe this is where we're at today. So that's also an option. So feel free to bring this as your balancing work as well. This is also a wonderful way just to start to get a little more acclimated to some balance work. So taking the left knee about hip height, you could take the right hand on the outer edge of the left foot. You could open up the right arm, the left arm, sorry, I'm getting my left and my right's all mixed up, and a gentle twist. Now my belly button is trying to face forward. So I'm not rotating the whole body. I'm just bringing that left leg, crossing over my midline. My arm is about shoulder height. I'm giving it a little bit of rotation. My belly button staying nice and straight. And then go ahead and come back through center. Rest that left foot down and shake that off. Wonderful. That's a lot of work. <laughs> we often do that supine 
Um, especially when we take the strap and we cross a rounded line, it's very similar work. Stretching that IT band, also giving the glutes a nice little stretch, and of course, working our balancing muscles. So let's go ahead and find ourselves at the base of our mat. And just settle here. And we're going to go ahead and just go through a couple of roll downs here. So as you're ready, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, maybe bend through the knees and start to tuck the chin under, rounding through the spine, allowing ourselves to roll down. Maybe keeping a little bend in the knee. And then as you're ready, pressing into the feet, engaging through the glutes and the hamstrings and pulling ourselves up one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way to stacking. Wonderful. Next one, let's go ahead and exhale, round and through the spine. Start to articulate through each of the vertebrae, coming all the way down into a forward fold. And this time, we're going to walk our hands out into all fours. Wonderful. Now from here, let's go ahead and swim our legs over towards the right or left side, and then we're going to sweep our legs forward and come right down onto our back. Now, from our back position, let's lie down on our back. Let's just go ahead and take our feet and make sure that the knees, hips, ankles are all nicely aligned. You've got maybe your heels slightly underneath the knees. Spine is nice and neutral. Palms of the hands are facing down. And maybe a little bit of pressure of the triceps down into the floor in preparation for our um, bridge poses, which is an inversion. So we're going to do this as our inversion for today. So as you're ready, inhale, begin to press in through the heel, start to engage through the glutes, and start to lift your trunk and your hips up towards the sky. And just try to see if you can do this, keeping one long line from shoulder to knee. And then as you exhale, gently take the tailbone, or sorry, not the tailbone, the sacrum and the back down towards the earth. Exhale, lift. Open up the hip flexors. And then slowly, gently make your way all the way down. And just continue to flow here with one breath, one movement, opening the front body, strengthening the back body. This is a wonderful strengthener for the glutes, for the hamstrings, and for the spine. It also works the core. We're also really nice and controlled through the movement, through the core, as we set ourselves back down towards the floor. And if you notice your hip bones not evenly coming up, maybe you're strengthening a little bit more into one leg than the other. Let's see if we can do that in finding this balanced state. So pressing into both feet as equally as possible, lifting the hip bones as equally as possible, and then gently setting our sacrum down to the floor, nice and gently. Good, let's do that two more times, breathing out, or breathing in as you lift, whatever feels natural for you. See if the knees can continue to align with the hips and the ankles. See if as you set your sacrum down, they equally come down towards the earth together. And that's a toughie. Good. Wonderful. When you're ready, set yourself down towards the earth. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug here. Maybe take a moment to shift your weight side to side to create a little bit of space through the sacrum as your sacrum reaches down towards the base of your mat. And go ahead from here and either rock your body side to side or simply keep your knees in towards your chest. Whatever gives you a little bit more comfort, a little bit more release in the low back. And 
you're ready, go ahead and come back through center. First, into a little movement through the hips. So drawing the knees out to the sides and then sweeping them all the way down and then back through center. And just loosening up through the hips here. Wonderful. And then let's reverse this direction whenever you're ready. Let me finish up where you are. And then you go ahead and reverse it. Kind of working in the opposite direction, loosening up through the hips. Wonderful. And then last one. Great, and let's go ahead and set our feet down to the floor. And we're gonna go ahead and grab our yoga block. And when you're ready, go ahead and lift your pelvis about two to three or as high as you can so you can set your yoga block right on your sacrum. And then we're gonna go ahead and lift our knees and come into candlestick. And this will be our last, second to last pose. I'm gonna stay here for about five to eight breaths. This too is another, another version of an inversion. Inversions are incredibly powerful tools to use. To use. They call them the poses of the fountain of youth. Apparently it helps with metabolism, it helps with our face, our hair, health, our neurological standing, our emotional well-being, our physical well-being. There's just so many benefits to doing inversions calms the nervous system and then go ahead and bend to the knees set your feet down and when you're ready you can press into the heels and just gently lift your sacrum as enough that you can lift and take away your block And then let's go ahead and make our way into our final pose of the day, our Shavasana. So maybe you want to extend your legs out long. Maybe you want to rest your legs on a yoga block. Perhaps you want to open the palms to open up the heart. Or maybe you want to rest your hand on your heart and on your tummy.
just begin to deepen the breath. Maybe take a few breaths in and then just sigh out. Whatever you want to let go of. Or, you know, just a nice release. begin to invite a little bit of movement into the hands, into the feet. You can even move your neck side to side if you want. Take a moment to clear your throat. And I've been re-energizing the body, re-awakening the body. Nice and soft. No push. And then when you're ready, go ahead and roll yourself onto your favorite side whatever that is and literally just take a couple of breaths here as a, as a little transition and then when you're ready we can press our hands into the floor and just gently bring ourselves up to a seated position And in our Sukhasana position, let us meet with our hands at heart center in Anjali Mudra. As a symbol of being all one. The gentle bow of our head towards our hands. May your heart always stay warm. And may your smile always stay broad. And may the light that shines in me honor the light that shines in you. Namaste. As always, from my heart to yours, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that uh, your heart feels nice and expansive and that you know that whatever you learn on the mat, you could take with you off the mat. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you again soon. From mine to yours, love to you all. Thank you, everyone.